One of the best things to do in London on a Sunday is to come here to Hampstead Heath and go for a long walk. And as you're walking, keep an eye out for the landscapes that were painted by Constable and Turner. And then at the end of your journey, there's a wonderful surprise because as you come over the top of a hill, there before you is Kenwood House, one of London's finest and best secrets. The outside of Kenwood is beautiful and modest. It's a really perfect neoclassical building, but the really wonderful things here are all on show inside. And guess what? It's free. Now the reason I'm here is because Kenwood has been closed for about 18 months for a major restoration. And what they've tried to do here is bring it back to the way that Robert Adam decorated the building when he started out. And a lot of the paints have been changed, there's been lots of scientific exploration, so everything now is as Adam wanted it to be. One thing I've really noticed about the restoration is that everything looks paler than it used to. I mean, I remember these columns and they were marbled, quite dark, but now they're gleaming white. Typical bit of neoclassicism. But the room we all really want to see here, one of the greatest neoclassical rooms in Britain, which has been completely transformed, is this room. Robert Adams' great library at Kenwood House. I used to come in here and, to be honest, sometimes felt a little bit disappointed. They had this rather loud red carpet in here. You can see it in this picture of the room as it used to be. And it all felt a little bit too ornate, a little bit too dark. Well, that's all changed because what they've done is, first of all, they've chucked out the carpet and returned the room to these glorious Rococo floorboards, which have this marvellous effect of making the room look bigger, actually. And then all the colours have been cleaned out and it's as if they've got rid of clutter in here and got rid of all the gold that used to be at the top of the columns and introduced this paler colour scheme, which of course is much more correct for Robert Adam. And I mean, I remember the ceiling as being blue in here, but now there's all these lovely Wedgwood type of pinks and it all looks more ethereal, lighter, more perfect. It's a stunning place to come on a Sunday. But this is Kenwood's most famous room. And it's famous because of the array of masterpieces hanging on its walls. I mean, look over here. Vermeer, the guitar player. It's only Vermeer showing someone playing a guitar. And the only Vermeer that's available in such intimate circumstances. But I also love this Van Dyke here. Henrietta of Lorraine. I mean, that's as good as anything Van Dyke ever painted. But the star of the show, the picture most people come in here to see, is the great Rembrandt self-portrait, painted when he was already an old man and considered by many to be the finest of all his self-portraits. This is the music room, and it's full of 18th century portraits by Gainsborough and Reynolds. And I think my favourite painting in here is this glorious Gainsborough of Countess Howe. Actually, this might be my favourite of all of Gainsborough's female portraits. I love the way he's done her dress. That gorgeous Rococo pink. And I also like her face. It's so interesting. I've looked at it lots and lots of times and it took me a while to realise who she reminds me of. It is, of course, Helen Mirren. So that's Kenwood House after its renovation. And look, what's not to like? Turner, Rembrandt, Vermeer, Gainsborough, immaculate Robert Adam interiors, all perfectly restored. And it's all free. <laughs> 